Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, and this is Jay Rambles. We're flying back on my actual camera. Um, my arm got way too tired. I've filmed, like, eight videos today, so my arm was just like, I can't do it anymore. So, we're doing season one, episode 19 of Avatar The Last Airbender, called Siege of the North, part one. So, we start off with, uh, Katara is like really really good now like none of the no one in the class can take her on and win at all then Sokka and Yui are talking some more and um he takes her to meet Appa and they go flying and they got a little flirty but then they had soot in the snow and they saw the Fire Nation uh, Navy and then um the blast is now mixing in with the snow and then the water so they land and then Yui can't see Sokka anymore and she doesn't even like the guy that she's being betrothed to. And then um, when the chief was asking for volunteers, Sokka volunteered and Yui started crying and it was just like a whole moment. Then the Fire Navy started attacking and then Aang goes to break the catapults and he tries like a lot and does like a lot of damage to a bunch of ships. Then we cut to Osaka informs um, the group on who's who, the uniform, everything. So it tells them about the um, jow, how they dress, and all this stuff. And Han is Yui's um, fiance. It's just like an overall douchebag. <laughs> Plain and simple. Then uh, <clears throat> we cut to what Iris suggests to Jow to stop because it's beginning to be nighttime, and that's when Water Banner's game their most hour is at night and so um Jao agrees and so then we cut to where Aang is exhausted he took like a least a dozen fire navy ships then we cut to where um Iris says goodbye to Zuko and then we cut to where Sokka hates Han <laughs> and they end up fighting because he disrespected UA so he's like okay well we're gonna tussle and so the chief breaks it up and he's off the mission then Zuka gets in, then Yue says to Katara, um, let's see here, uh, Yue says to Katara, the moon is, um, oh my god, I can't even read, it's like the number one first something, oh, uh, Yue says to Katara that the moon is the first waterbender, wow, I cannot read AF right now. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> Aang is going to go talk to the spirits and sees the two koi fish. Then he tries meditating. Then Zuko got through that, um, pod and goes through, a, like, a, well, water thing. And it goes through a second crevice. And then, um, then we cut to where the chief wants Sokka to guard Yue. Then, let's see, then, okay, so Aang focuses, well, fuzzes out Katar and... UA for talking, and then um, he's concentrating on the koi, and then he kind of snaps into the spirit world. And uh, let's see here. Then Zuko is in the uh, water kingdom, and then um, Zuko interrupts after and gets into the uh, spirit realm, and then it's Katara versus Zuko, and Katara at first wins, and then the sun is out, and then Zuko goes all out, and took Aang, and then the fire maybe invades. And that was in the episode. Wow, this is a lot shorter than my other videos, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Um, it was a really good episode, I gave it an A plus, because we get to see how fast Katara's been um, handling the water bending and how good she's gotten so it was really really cool to see that happen but the action scenes were so good especially between Katara and Zuko I really really enjoyed that a lot and um poor Sokka he just has the worst luck and love he really does but really good episode really enjoyed it and that's one difference this video. So like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below. I'm always interested to know what people think of the actual show, the episode, how you think I did, if it's good or bad, just be constructive with it, and don't be an a-hole about it. That's all I'm saying. And don't forget to subscribe because it does step out the channel a lot, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.